Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson. This lesson is on what foods and beverages to avoid if you have an enlarged prostate. So the dietary selections that we talk about in this lesson have been shown to either enlarge the prostate, increase risk of prostate cancer, and or increase the symptoms of an enlarged prostate. So all of these are important to avoid if you have an enlarged prostate or if you want to prevent having an enlarged prostate. So the first one is going to come from the review article entitled Nutrition and Benign Prostatic Hyperplasia. So a lot of them that we talk about in this lesson are actually going to come from this review article. So we're going to keep coming back to this review article. So the first one I'm going to talk about here is starch. And mostly starch in the form of white bread, pasta, and rice. So consumption of white bread, pasta, and rice is associated with an increased risk of an enlarged prostate. Now the exact mechanism for why this happens is not entirely known, but it appears to be related to high glycemic index foods. So these in particular, white bread, pasta, and rice, are higher glycemic index foods, and there seems to be some relationship between this and insulin signaling and an enlarged prostate. Now the next one we're going to talk about is dairy products. And there's actually some mixed evidence. Now this article here entitled Dairy Product Consumption and Prostate Cancer Risk in the United States actually doesn't seem to show significant evidence for dairy being a cause of an enlarged prostate or a cause of an increased risk of prostate cancer. But there is some evidence, so I wanted to mention that here. So dairy products including milk, yogurt, and cheese. And again, high consumption may be associated with an increased risk of prostate cancer. So again, there's some mixed evidence here, but it may be prudent to avoid dairy products to avoid the possible risk of prostate cancer. So again, important to avoid starch because starch is associated with an increased risk of prostate enlargement. And this appears to be due to starch's high glycemic index. And then dairy products, although the evidence is mixed, there may be some association with increased risk of prostate cancer, especially when high consumption of dairy products is undertaken. Now again, we're going to come back to the same review article we talked about before for the next couple of different dietary selections. Now, one of them is a high protein diet. So a high protein diet has been associated with an increased risk of an enlarged prostate. There does seem to be some causal mechanism here. And it appears to occur with both animal and plant protein, but animal protein appears to be worse. So in the case of high protein diets, plant-based protein appears to be better than animal protein with regards to prostate health. Going a little bit more specifically, red meat has also been associated with an increased risk of an enlarged prostate. We can see here in this article entitled Meat and Meat-Related Compounds and Risk of Prostate Cancer in a Large Prospective Cohort Study in the United States. So this article has shown some associated increased risk of red meat consumption and prostate enlargement in cancer. And this may be due to polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. Now you don't need to worry about what these are, but this is more particular to burnt red meat. So if you're grilling, barbecuing, those types of activities, and there's some burning or scorching of the meat, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons can be formed. And it does appear to be due to the formation of these compounds. So when we talk about red meat, a lot of times it could be the polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons that are with the red meat, especially when they're grilled or barbecued. So again, important to avoid high protein diets, especially protein coming from animal sources. This appears to be related or associated with an increased risk of prostate enlargement. And then particular red meat seems to increase the risk of prostate enlargement and cancer, but this seems to be mainly due to polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, which are essentially pollutants that are produced when the red meat is grilled or barbecued. Beer has also been associated with an enlarged prostate. So consumption of beer is known to increase prolactin levels. And high consumption of beer, so key word here is high consumption, may increase the risk of BPH, benign prostatic hyperplasia, which is another term for an enlarged prostate. Now, this is not entirely clear. So if there is a risk or an increased risk of an enlarged prostate with beer consumption, it appears to be when beer consumption is very high. And it is different than other types of liquor or alcohol. So when other studies have looked at beer consumption, 
when it's mild or moderate consumption, it actually may be protective against an enlarged prostate. But I wanted to mention that here, high consumption of beer may increase the risk of an enlarged prostate or benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH. Because alcohol acts as a diuretic, it can increase the symptoms of an enlarged prostate. So it can increase the lower urinary tract symptoms. So symptoms of an enlarged prostate can be worsened with beer consumption. Caffeinated beverages can also be an issue with an enlarged prostate, not specifically because they increase the risk of enlarging the prostate or they don't seem to be related to having any effect on prostate size. It's more because caffeine acts as a diuretic. So a diuretic will make someone go to the bathroom more often. So if an individual does have an enlarged prostate, it's best to avoid caffeinated beverages because they'll be going to the washer more often and they'll have more symptoms of an enlarged prostate. So they'll have worsened lower urinary tract symptoms. And this is the same again with beer. So beer and alcohol can act as a diuretic, same with caffeine. This will worsen lower urinary tract symptoms. So both of these are good to avoid, especially in trying to avoid some of those symptoms of an enlarged prostate, frequent urination, urgency, those types of symptoms. And there may be some associated risk with high consumption of beer and an increased risk of prostate enlargement. So again, good to avoid both of these. Both act as diuretics and both can worsen those lower urinary tract symptoms associated with an enlarged prostate. Now, the next one we're going to talk about comes from this article entitled, High Fat Diet Fuels Prostate Cancer Progression by Rewiring the Metabolome and Amplifying the MIC Program. So from that article, High fat diets or foods that contain lots of fats or high fat content can increase the risk of an enlarged prostate, but more specifically increase the risk of progression or increase the risk of prostate cancer itself. So can increase the risk of prostate cancer, can increase the progression of prostate cancer. High sodium intake is also something to avoid with an enlarged prostate. From this article entitled Dietary Macronutrients, Cholesterol and Sodium and Lower Urinary Tract Symptoms in Men. The main reason to avoid sodium or high sodium intake is because the sodium increases symptoms that are associated with an enlarged prostate. So it increases those lower urinary tract symptoms. So although the high sodium doesn't seem to be involved in actually making the prostate bigger or changing the size of the prostate, it will worsen the symptoms associated with an enlarged prostate. So again, high fat diets increase the risk of prostate cancer and the progression of prostate cancer. So best to avoid high fat diets and high sodium intake doesn't necessarily affect the size of the prostate, but it's good to avoid if you have an enlarged prostate because it increases symptoms associated with an enlarged prostate like lower urinary tract symptoms. So I hope you found this lesson helpful. That was a lesson on foods and beverages to avoid if you have an enlarged prostate. If you want to check out my other lesson on natural treatments for an enlarged prostate, so certain foods and dietary supplements to actually shrink your prostate, please check out that lesson as well. If you like this lesson, please give it a thumbs up and, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.